Replacing the engine coolant temperature sensor. Uh, also checking it on a fourth gen Maxima. Let's see, here's an overall view of the engine bay. Obviously, uh, coil packs over here, radiator hose. It's going right down here. This one here is the uh, your engine coolant temperature sensor. It sends the signals to the ECU saying what temperature the coolant's at, basically. This one right here, that just sends the, uh, the temperature signal to your gauge cluster for the piece of crap thing they call a temperature gauge. Really all it tells you is cold, really, really hot, or somewhere in between. But, uh, okay, first testing out, testing it. And also if uh, uh, your temperature gauge bounces around a lot, check this. It's probably got some corrosion or something on there, or this is loose. All right, so to check it, uh, you can set your meter to resistance here to measure your ohms. 300 in leads. And then just one lead on one pin, one on the other. Nothing special. Let's see the camera can see here. See, it comes up as about 2.3 kilo ohms. Uh, it's about 80 degrees ambient, so that's that's just about right. Uh, you're probably going to be right around there yeah, if you haven't run the engine. If the engine's cool, I haven't driven this in about a day, so it's as cool as it's going to get. So, you know, if the reading's a fair amount off, then you should go ahead and replace it. They're only about, I don't want to say prices, but maybe about 20 bucks, something like that, an auto parts store. Yeah, it's nothing too bad. So what you're going to do, and uh, if you have the stock intake in, you probably just need to remove the scoop here. As it gets in the way. I just saw the whole intake on. So what you're going to do is a 19 millimeter head wrench. And very simple. Of course, you may not want to use the open end. Just for fear of rounding it off. You're not going to lose a massive amount of coolant from this. You'll lose some, obviously, but... Yeah. A little spurt and then it just stays. So that your cold temp sensor. You can see the probe that goes the uh, probe that goes into the coolant log to read the temperature and then it's got a little sealing washer here. So when you get your new one, again fairly simple. Pop it in. Started and run it down. Now, as usual, I'll put the uh, the torque specs in the video. But tight, as with everything else. Not too tight, but tight enough. Snug. All right, let me just go ahead and plug this back in. Plug that back in. And that's checking and replacing the coolant temp sensor on your fourth gen Maxima.